Hello everyone and welcome to today's review of the Thomas & Friends Sodor Take Along Set featuring the Push Along All Engines Go Thomas, a precious little cargo, and an amazing little Cranky the Crane. Let's get into the review. The first two things we're going to be talking about in this review are the Push Along Thomas and the cargo that he comes with. The Push Along Thomas, first and foremost, looks like this. Now, he's your basic stock standard Thomas, same wheels and everything, same body build, but the one thing that I feel is different about him, and you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but the one thing I've noticed on him is this cool little face that he has, and it's a cute little smiling, happy expression, his little teeth right there, his little eyes and everything, and he's just happy, you know, to start his day off. One thing I really like about these little push-alongs is the inclusion of blacked buffers because this really does help a lot with the immersion you could say of the fact that these little guys have painted buffers versus the bigger trackmaster models that don't have painted buffers so it kind of does really go to show the importance of which is more important in the lineup so then the next thing we're going to do is check out this little cargo that thomas carries with him and it's a basic little cargo wagon blue with like a little detailing of little bolt implants on it. The wheels don't have much detail, they're just kind of stock standard wheels. No painted buffers on the back, which is a common thing for most Trackmaster to push along cargo right now. The other thing he does come with on this send are two little cargo pieces that come with this set. And the first ones are this tiny little cargo detailing. Now it does have good crate imprints on the sides of it the handlebar and everything, and this is where Craigie can pick up and put into Thomas's load. The next thing we're going to take a look at is this little stop sign. Now this is a stop sign with no detail on either the front or the back of it, so it's kind of just a random little thing that was put in. But this is the cargo that Thomas has, and so now we're going to check out the actual set itself. So as we can see here, this is the front of the set. Now, it does have this gray here because this is actually the part where it extends out to show the dock area. And then you'll see on the side, you have all this green area that actually comes for the top part of the set as well. But the other thing you're gonna notice so far is you're gonna see these two clips, one red one right here, and then one red one right there, and then this handle piece right over here. This is because the set is designed to be a carry set, a take-along set, because that's what it's advertised as. So you pick it up like this and carry it along with you wherever you go. So now let's open it up completely. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is unclick these hinge pieces, and then we're gonna fold this part out. So then that way it's gonna go like that. And then we're gonna take this piece that's on the back and secure it into its place so it can hold firm and we're going to take our little cranky out and then we're going to fold this just like that and so this is the set as it is completely and then if you want you can put the thomas thing right there and then you can put your cranky right here Fold his arm now, and there you go. You have the set all displayed in its entirety. A couple things you will notice that are on this set is first and foremost the little three shed track master to the sheds right over here. Now you will see that there is a cutout of Percy right over here. Now with these little sheds, only this one that you can see right here is fully open inside to put Thomas in. This one right here is just another cutout character. So realistically, the only engine you're gonna be able to fit throughout these sheds is this area right here for Thomas, which I feel is kind of a little disappointment because you could have removed Percy and the other cutout character here and had all three of these available for engine use, such as Thomas, Gordon, Henry, James, Emily, whoever you want. And you could have had a whole lot more character range going on in this little area of the set. But with that out of the way, the other come, the other thing that comes with it is this little turntable. So you can turn this, and it does go a full 360. 
which I think is really cool because it adds the immersion that if there were more engine spaces here, you could have had more engines be able to come out and use the turntable. So then going down the loop that's right here, you'll spot this. Now this little lever right here raises this little drawbridge to go up. And it does go fully up, allowing for the bigger Trackmaster 2 engines or Trackmaster 1 engines to go on this piece of track that are right here, conveniently right next to these little tiny tracks right here. So if you want, you can lower it back down when you're not in use. And then you go to this little shed right here, which is designed as another space for trains such as the little push along toms to be stored. So you gotta lift it up with your finger, just like that, and then place your little toms right inside of there. And then what we're actually going to be doing now is I'm gonna be running the little Trackmaster push along right down the hill, all around the bend, putting him inside the little thing and putting him out. And then I'll show you the little feature with Cranky the Crane. Okay, so with the set ready for Thomas to go on it, we're gonna take our little Tommy right here, and we're gonna put him on this platform right at the top where any kid can push him to start along with. And so he's gonna start cascading, rolling down the green. So let's push him down. And see, he stops right there. Now you can place him onto the turntable if he lands on there, and then you can move him around at any point in the sheds. You can even place him into the sheds so he can get a good night's rest and then wake up in the next morning to start the day. So then if you start the day off with Thomas on this platform, you can push him onto this side right here, where then with a swivel and a push, he goes down and onto the main track. Now here's the best part I think I like about this set, is the fact that if you go right to here, and switch him about so he can get attached to his cargo, you can get Cranky to go over here. You can move his arm up and down where you need it to be. And then you can move his little crane arm, pick up the cargo, raise his arm up, and then gently place the cargo with your hand into the set. Remove Cranky's arm, and then Thomas is ready to go about his day on his adventure. And just as a little side note, I really love this little Cranky. It is so fun. And it's especially cute and cool if this is your very first Cranky. If you couldn't get the other variations of Cranky in the past, this is a really cool version to get. A really neat little version in a $20 set for any kid who wants a Cranky the Crane. Or if you're a big time collector as an adult and you never got the chance to have a Cranky the Crane, this is a really cool one to have. Well everyone, this has been my official review of the 2023 Trackmaster Push Along Cranky and Thomas set. Now, it is called a Sodor Take Along set, but I find this to be more of a Thomas and Cranky set. But regardless of the name calling of the set, this is a generally awesome, cool set to get. And I got it on Amazon for $21. So if you can find this on Amazon for even lower than that, I'd say go ahead and pick it up because for the price that it is, this is a very neat set for a take-along. You get a cool little Cranky the Crane that you get to have if it's your first one. It's a really cool addition to have. You get a nice little push-along Thomas, nice little new cargo wagon, and all of this area right here of playability that is so, so fire to play with. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead, like, and subscribe, share it with everybody else, and I'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace.